Greetings. Welcome to a different perspective on life. My name is Charles Young II, your host. If you choose to listen to this broad message in its entirety, please click the little emblem, cartoon character, in the left-hand corner next to my name. And please leave a comment after listening to it on my timeline if you have time. It would be very appreciative. Today's topic I want to talk about is, is it okay for the black woman to date and marry out of the black race or culture? When you look at the percentage of black men incarcerated in America, which is 34% and 28% in the state of California, as an African American people, we are in a crisis, especially when we as a culture only make up 12.4% of America's population. Now, like I said the other day, I'm not against race mixing, but as a black culture, the black woman has always been the black bone, or excuse me, the backbone, I should say, to hold and keep things and keep the family together. Now, what happens when the backbone of our culture crosses over and decides to date or marry other men who aren't black? Well... You have to look at it from today's black woman's perspective and what she has going on. Now, in our modern society, it is the black woman who is the breadwinner, and in some cases, the only breadwinner. Now, if you have an African-American woman making 80000 or more a year, and a black man making 40000 a year, and if the black woman decides to date a Caucasian man or a Hispanic or Asian man making the same or more than her, then you can't fault her, especially if she has financial goals and other goals that the black man can't fulfill for her. Now you might say, the sister needs to help a brother out. And I will agree with you in certain cases, yes, she should help a brother out if the brother has goals and needs help, you know. But what if the brother doesn't want to help himself? or better himself. You can't fault her. That's why I tell a lot of young African-American, young guys, get yourself together. Learn a trade, a skill. Take a hobby and make it work for you. Elevate your mind. Learn new things besides who's rapping or who's balling or who's coming up in the dope game. Invest in yourself and learn to be an entrepreneur and learn entrepreneur skills and come up with a plan and work your plan and let your plan work it. I'm sure if you dream and make it come into manifestation, you don't have to worry about who the black woman is chasing because she'll be chasing you, you know. You got to understand that we're living in time and a different era. So we have to elevate ourselves as black men and come up and go to another level. And and, and, and and prepare ourselves financially so we are in a position to take care of a family and to help the black woman. Now, the laws, not all, but some are against us. But if we apply ourselves and, and, and learn technology and where the world is going and, and, and like I said, learn entrepreneurial skills and learn how to work for ourselves and don't feel sorry for ourselves. The black woman will have to date outside her race. Now, some might not agree with me, but I know for a fact, and most black people know for a fact, that a black woman will love a, a good black man, a hardworking black man who will support her and her family and take care of business. But it seems as though you have a lot of black men nowadays want the black woman to take care of them. You know, be another mother. And hey, that's not riding in this new millennium. Well, that's all I have for today. Thanks for listening. Until next time, you stay blessed. Blessings.